Hello and welcome. My name is Sachin Brahme. I'm with Avaya Serviceability Engineering. In this video, we'll talk about how to create message scripts in Avaya Proactive Contact. When a call is made from a job, the treatment of the call depends on the telephony script assigned to the job. The typical categories of these scripts are wait queue scripts, virtual job scripts, transfer wait queue scripts, or the scripts that give the agent the capability to play a message to the customer online. We will see how to create a script and how to assign it to a job. So I log into the editor application. If I go to jobs, I open a job, maybe out BND as an example. And in the job settings, under the labels section, you can see this parameter script label to use for making call. Currently it is set to wait1 underscore f. If you click on that, a drop down will appear and you can choose one of these script labels. Currently the one that is selected is wait1 underscore f. So that means that when a call is made out of this job, the wait queue call treatment will be done as per this script, that is wait1 underscore f. So we will see how to create this script. So I log on to the editor application and I have to make sure that I log in as a system administrator user. If I log in as a system supervisor user, I'll not be able to see the messages and script section. I go to the script section and then it displays me the currently available scripts in the system. So you can see the scripts have been categorized in these sections like outbound wait queue, inbound wait queue, transfer wait queue, automated messages or virtual agent messages. So these are the available script labels that you can use on your job. So for example, if you are configuring an outbound job, you can use one of these available wait queue script labels. Similarly, if you are setting up an inbound job, you can use one of these for inbound wait queue. So let's see one of these already available script labels, what they are doing. If I click on, let's say wait one underscore F, on the right hand side, the script actions will be displayed. If we read it from the top, it says that if a machine answers, there is no action. The call will simply be disconnected. When a person is waiting for an agent, that is when a call is made to a customer and there is no available agent for the job to pass the call to, in that case, these actions will be performed. First, it will do a pause of one second. It will play the message number one. Then it will wait for a response to check if the customer is still online. It will then pause for five more seconds, then play message two and so on and so forth. So it goes on till play message number four. If still the agent is not available, then the call is disconnected. And that is called as an abandoned call by the dialer. So we'll try and create a new message script here. So I'll click on the new button at the top. A new message script wizard appears on the screen. I'll click next. Then it asks me what kind of script label do I want to create. Let's take outbound wait queue script label. So I'll select this one and click next. Then it asks me that if a person answers the call and there is no available agent, do I want the call to be placed in a wait queue? If I select no here, that means that the call will not be placed into the wait queue. Instead, the call will be disconnected immediately. So I'll keep the yes radio button selected here. And there's another option, apply Ofcom rule on the script. You must use this only if your dialer is calling into the UK region. Ofcom regulations are applicable only to the UK region. Then I click next. Now it is asking me to add an action. So when the call is in the wait queue, I would like to play a message to the customer. You can see here there's a drop down box and I keep the player message selected and then I click on maybe the message F wait 3. I click next and then it is asking me if a machine answers that is if it is an auto voice do I want to play a message automatically. The default setting is no so I'll let it be no here I'll click next. Then it asks me do I want to play a message automatically before passing the call to the agent or into the wait queue. If I say yes, first a message will be played and then the call will be passed to the agent. And similarly, if it is going into the wait queue, first a message will be played and then the wait queue will follow. So I'll keep the no selected here. I'll click next. 
then it asks me to give a name to the script and a brief description so i'll give that then i click next and finish so you can see my script name is showing up there and the actions are showing on the right hand side so if i want i can add new actions here for example the typical flow of actions when the call is put into the wait queue would be to maybe like give a pause of some seconds then play a message then look to see if the customer is still online if he is then play a message again and so on and so forth so you can do that by adding new actions here so for example i'll right click there and add an action again the script wizard opens up this time i'll select pause i'll give a pause of maybe 2 seconds i'll click finish so you can see it, it now says pause 2 seconds and play message 3 so similarly i will add more actions here let me do that quickly so i have added these actions as you can see on the screen first i have given a pause of 2 seconds then played message number 3 then waited for a response which means i'm looking if this customer is still online or not if the customer is not online the control breaks out of the script and the call is ended if the customer is online then it follows further that means pause another 4 seconds and then play message number 4 and at the end i have given start a loop which means that if the customer is still online till this point it will loop from here and go back to the first line that is pause 2 seconds and then play message number 3 so it will keep going in a loop until the maximum number of seconds that you have set in the job either that is reached or the customer disconnects the phone or the call is passed to an agent that is when an agent becomes available so this is how you would create an outbound wait queue script similarly let us try to create an inbound wait queue script now i'll click new click next this time i choose inbound click next again it is asking me the actions here so i will design it the similar way that i designed the outbound wait queue script label so let me choose play a message first it's asking me to give a name to the script i input a name here click next and finish so you can see under the script actions it is currently only showing the one action that i added you can again right click and add new actions to it let's see some others let's try the virtual script label these are used for virtual jobs where there are no live agents the call is made to the customer and a message is played i click next then it asks me if a person answers the call do you want to play a message automatically i say yes and next and then it asks me to add an action i'll select play a message and then specify the message number that i want to play there is another category automated when an agent presses a key which means when an agent is speaking with the person online and if the agent wants if he chooses to play a recorded message to the customer maybe something like a message regarding a new marketing plan he would press a key on his application and an automated recorded message would get played to the person online so i select this one and click next and then it again asks me to add the actions i select play a message and then the message name that i want to play so after i'm done creating my scripts i would like to save them i click the save button at the top and then i save it in the pending status so it will take a midnight maintenance cycle to make these scripts live so that you can use them on your jobs so this is how you would be creating your scripts and assigning messages to them now after the maintenance cycle is over if i go back to the job section and i go to the script label to use for making call parameter i click on the drop down box and then i see my script here script 1 and that is available to be used on this job now there is another parameter that i want to show you in the job settings which is related to this if you scroll down to the wait queue section there is another parameter total wait delay and currently it is set to 90 which is in seconds so which means that the total time that the job will allow a call to stay in the wait queue that is waiting for an agent to become available to take that call 
that total time would be 90 seconds. So that means if my script label is having multiple messages being played one after the other, and if there is a loop also, it would still follow that procedure only for 90 seconds. After those 90 seconds are over, the call will be disconnected by the dialer. The maximum value for this setting is 999. So you cannot have the call to be in the wait queue for more than 999 seconds. That concludes our demonstration. Thank you for watching this video. For any questions or feedback, you may write to us at mentor at or at Mentor on Twitter. Thank you for choosing Avaya.